Hello there, this is Ice Ridge here with another tutorial and this is on how to mm, model e stuff with one texture and very fast method of doing it. I've been searching for tutorials on it, I couldn't find one and people have been asking me for one. So yeah, I'll make a tutorial on how to do it. I'll be covering not just this, I'll be covering UV mapping and a lot of cool select the tools and stuff you need to do. So I suggest listening. And sorry, I haven't been uploading in a while. I don't know what to upload on. So, oh, what am I doing? Uh, okay, find this thing in your computer. Uh, so how to find it is download Minecraft and everything. Go to your home, library, application support, Minecraft, and then bin, and then open with oh compress. Um, compress it and open it as a zip, and you should get a folder. And or you can just use some thing for the Minecraft Aja. Yeah, I renamed it because, yeah. Uh, and then, arrange by kind. For Windows, it should be app data and what have you. You should know how to do this. Then go into GUI and the item PNG is right there. So, let's get the bow. Um, bow is kind of difficult to model. I mean, it takes some time, but with my method, it shouldn't take at all any time. So, bow, one, I'm going to name it 1 because it is the first stage of the bow, and there are 5 stages of the bow, if I remember. So, uh, we load in that texture. Um, okay, none. Then, oh, so I make it a plane because it looks cooler and he doesn't get that weird look. We don't need alpha. And, oh, uh, and check the resolution, make sure you perfectly, um, oh my gosh, uh, make sure you perfectly go around cropping it, so this is the crop tool by the way, make sure you perfectly do the cropping and everything, so yeah, uh, okay, so 15 by 15, let's make, make the plane 15, 15, 15 times, put this, oops, 15 and this small star thing in the 6.25 and it should do multiplication press enter and then make sure you make it minus z and move it up to the plane press e and change this to 3.15 and move it now put the bow on it uh, make it editable now go into this view change this to goro shading or whatever and select the bow. Uh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's this is a ugh, what am I saying? Um, yeah, just select bow. So I have an uploading wall because because I don't know what to upload on, so press UI to invert this, the thing, and then just delete the unwanted thing. Things. Uh, what now? Press UI. Oh, and to select all, press. Oh no, actually, uh, to select all, you're going to select and select all. So it selects all the polygons or you can go to customization commands and then type in select all and then we find that same command and I made it command all s so all you do is type in the command you want here and press add then you should add it and then so when I press command all s it should select everything. Now press MT uh, uh, for split it and then change to negative 6.25 um okay we did that now press um select hide selected so now we can't see that do the same for this except we can do that for that what we did the uh, previous one we did was we hid the selected polygons to unhide it we click on unhide all so we don't want that right now but yeah, select this. Now press. Uh, I'm not sure if that works. Let me, let me just check. Yeah, that didn't work. 
So let's get uh, one minute. Okay, suppress, select all on the plane we just made. So let's just select all of this. Press BP UV edit. Go to materials, grab it and put it on that because we don't have the material put it on there because it's newly made polygons from the X group. Click on the tick, uh, X box under the materials here. Press on undo because we don't really need it. Uh, undo is command Z. Uh, so just undo that and then we got the picture right here. I don't know a different way of doing this. I probably didn't make this clear. So we take the box, then we undo it and then we should get the picture here. So Hope you got that. If you're having problems, just leave a comment. Um, actually, we might have needed that those polygons, so I'm gonna unhide it. So that is this command for me. So now we need to just select polygons. I mean, the polygons underneath and the ones that have the same color of the one as well. Well, the reason I'm doing this, as you can see if I render it right now, it looks okay, I guess, but um, yeah, not all of them are in the correct place because Cinema 4D's UV mapping is not too great, so now I've selected the ones with all of the same color. The good thing about this is when you model um, when you're doing models of a sword or something, of something that has armor or something, is that it's UV mapped, so you can basically change it in gold, pickaxe, or gold sword, and pretty easily uh, just change one texture. So now we just go around doing all of these. Uh, I'm not sure if texture packs would work. If they're 16 by 16, I think it'll work because it's. I don't know, no, I'm not sure. It depends on how they. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> oh, I already did that color. Okay, so this color. And. Oh, forgot. Make sure in this mode. And then. I really didn't explain well. You should not hear map. It's pretty basic. Uh, I'm not sure, but yeah. And now scale it down here and move it here. Uh, yeah, we basically finished modeling the bow really fast. Now select both of them, right click, should, um, connect plus delete, name it bow, oops, bow 1 because it's the first state of the bow. And we have a bow. And press on edge select and you should see extra polygons. So right click and optimize and you should get rid of that. And if you want, you can actually go into this mode, press on Shift Q, oh no, uh, go into Live Select mode, which is this, then off that, and select polygons you don't need. So click on that, say we don't need that, and it should just get rid of it. This is you want to go into extend, like, okay, the command for this is basically select this, right click, and dissolve. But the command I made for it, which is customization and commands and dissolve, just find the command, is shift D. I think it's open for um, that. So select the unwanted polygons, make sure you go little by little because if you select a whole bunch, sometimes the polygons get messed up and textures get messed up. So, yeah, like that. So just select little by little and it shouldn't get messed up. And then you should have a low poly. Um, object and it should be pretty easy to work with it um, I'm not gonna go around doing this it just takes way too much time actually it didn't take at all any time oh so we got this little poly bow now uh, so hope you enjoyed uh, thanks for watching me and don't forget to do these ones if you like um, and go make uh, your own packs like model all the items if you like with this technique it takes not at all any time because yeah I'll put the download for this thing uh, maybe not because I'm too lazy thanks for watching and bye
sorry, um, you shouldn't go around doing the corners because uh, the UV, UV, UV map can kind of weirdly where we scale them. And if we, if you see over here, actually there can't be any examples on this one. Yeah, um, but do not do that because it messes up the textures. Yeah, okay, bye.